Ladies and gentlemen, in a few minutes we shall be landing at Cairo International Airport. Please, you are kindly requested to make sure that your seatbelt are fastened. We hope that you have enjoyed your flight with us and we are looking forward to have you once more in our future flights. Thank you. Welcome ladies and gentlemen to Cairo. Temperature outside the cabin is reported to be 26 degrees Celsius and local time is 12.30 p.m. Please you are kindly requested to remain seated until the complete stop of the engines. Thank you for flying Egypt there. The area of all Egypt is 1 million square kilometer. We only use 15% of the whole area. And the rest of the whole area is desert. People here are more concentrated around the delta area. Delta area which is near by the river Nile. Okay. Um, our mother tongue is Arabic language. The working day is here from uh, Sunday to Thursday. Weekend are Friday and Saturday. As you can see, the river Nile both sides now. That's what you're gonna see tomorrow. I am a pharaoh's companion, and I am he. The Close to the Nile, I watch over the plateau of Gizeh, over all its monuments of modest or fantastic height. They are tombs. Civilizations are like islands on the ocean of barbarism. Over this one, the Sphinx has gazed and watched for 5,000 years. At the foot
foot of such mountains of stone, everything becomes minute and insignificant. Man is an insect. Yet, it was men who built these massive monuments. And the names of pharaohs whose tombs they are have crossed the ages. Their glory has defeated time. Before we speak about the pyramids, we have to know why the ancient Egyptians built the tombs. They built the tombs because they believe in resurrection, they believe in afterlife. But why do they believe in afterlife and resurrection? You know? Three things made them believe in afterlife. First of all, the sun. The sun comes from the east, that means life. So people go to work, eat, make everything. So what's happened? Go to the west. Dark. Death. At night, no one make anything. Just stay at house. So what? Yet you come back the other day? The sun. So you have life, death, life. So they believe they are alive, they will go to death, so they will be again, alive in another again. time. That's why they buried everything with them. Food, water, uh, clothes, uh, any stuff, eyeglasses, uh, computers, laptop, anything they needed, they will bury it with them. Yeah, with the, that servants and all those things. Yes. Yeah, the people who is to help them. The people help them because the king, the idea of the edition, because the king, he is the only way for the people to go to the heaven. There is a connection between the, the death and the heaven. That's why inside we have the body of the king. So, if you are speaking about the pyramid, the king is the only connection between people and God. You have to go to God through the king to heaven. That's why the pyramid, like arrows for arrows, north, okay. south, east and west, that means the whole world go to Up God to the God. through the king. So, after this, we have also another things like dream. We have a dream, we are alive, we have we go to sleep like death. We have a dream, so you'll be alive in another time. So this make them live after life. Also the Nile Foundation. The Nile come to Egypt each seven months. So when the Nile come, that means there is food, there is water, so we are alive. It's go away, there is death, it comes to the next year, so it's life. So life, that's life. They start to make the a pit, the tombs like a pit in the ground, they put the body of the king, like the fattest, this form on the left side. Why on the left side? Because of the heart. They have the judgment in the afterlife, the heart. So if you are a good man, you will be alive. If you are a bad man, you will be dead. So they buried everything, as I told you, with you, all your gold, everything. But it's very easy to get out the sand and take everything. So everything was robbed. They start to make the first mastaba. You know, see this pyramid, so yeah. this tomb out there. This tomb, it's like a room. Underneath, there is a ramp going down to the burial chamber. It's easy to open the door, go inside the ramp, and go to the burial chamber and take everything. So they start to make the pyramids. We have the first pyramid in Egypt, which is at Saqqara, the step pyramid. Then we had at the Shur, which is the bent and the red pyramid. Then the pyramids of Giza. Okay. The pyramids of this pyramid, one of the ancient seven wonders. Only this pyramid. For, for, the, for one block of stone, yeah. differ. It's starting from two tons till 14 tons. Oh. It's heavier here, then going, going up, it became more light. So they used to carry and then they made. And also we have how many million blocks of stones? Two million three hundred blocks of stone. They used to build this pyramid and also this stone, kind of stone, it's limestone. From where we get the limestone? Three places. Aswan and Mukattam Hill and from this area. 
Aswan is far away, 900 kilometers. So if you want to get 2,300,000 by boats, it will take hundreds of years. And we built the pyramid in 20 years only. So maybe from Mukattam here, which is uh, away from here, like 60 meters, but some people say it's very hard also to get only the stones and start building. It's very hard because you have to cut first the stones, then get it. Okay. So most probably from the same area, from, from the Giza. Giza, from Giza. So they start to build. Some people say have one big ramp, so to get the blocks over there. But it's very hard because the side would be very tough because if you want to get two tons for, for block of stone, it's very hard to get it up from here. So maybe by spiral ramps to yeah. get it, it's they, better to get They made it like the oh. round okay. Yes. You see the down base here? Yeah. It's very smooth. It has to be covered the whole pyramid like this, but it's collapsed. Okay, so that's, that's why... That's the surface. That's why you leave it here, the last place, to see how the, the pyramid looks like in the ancient Egyptian time. You will see two doors. The first one up there, this is the true one. The second one, it's made by Muslim caliph called Al Khalifa Al Ma'mun. He believed that inside this pyramid there is a lot of treasury. He tried to enter from the main entrance, he couldn't. He guided dynamites and exposed inside. He dig till he reached the main passage. What he found inside? Nothing. That's why we know that the robbery from the same time of the ancient Egyptian. It's not after, the, after it. Maybe there is after it, but it starts during the ancient Egyptian. All the dimensions are equal. The second pyramid is not equal. The height of the pyramid is 146 meters. Okay. The second one is 138. The third one is 64. This is the third one. You look this at the is base. Small? Yeah, this is the smallest one. And look at the base. Yeah. It's supposed to be covered with red granite. With? Red granite. Okay. You see the granite at the, at the base? It's yeah. still more, yeah. it still exists. And by the way, we have three big pyramids and yeah. six subsidiary pyramids okay. for the wife and the daughters of the king. Acha. So for the names of the pyramid, the great one is called Khufu, the second one Khafra, the third one Mankaura. This is the right Egyptian names. Some people say the Greek name, which is Kyops, Kefren Menkarinos. But for the ancient and right Egyptian pronunciation, Khufu, Khafra, Mankaura. This is how the ancient Egyptian speak. Okay. This is the camels that I told you. They are standing here going down to the desert. Okay. Take the shots with the camel and the pyramid and get you back from the same point. Okay. We will stand up there and we'll take our shots from over there where so the people from, standing. From there you can take From there we'll take the picture for the three pyramids. Okay. Thank you.
Los andamios sabía que poca foto se iba a hacer. Un dólar, un For whom this 
Sphinx, we don't know. There is nothing on it. No description, nothing on it. So, some yeah. people say that yeah, it's for king. Khafra, we the second pyramid. Why? Well, yeah, from, from, from the front here, you will see the Sphinx protecting only these two, not the three tombs. So maybe he's protecting this king from any evil, the afterlife, protecting the tomb. No, no one gets hurt for the king. Okay? They can take the shots. Many people come and worship this block of stone. So we, we want to turn the dust of stone so incline and damage the nose. But this is also wrong. Yeah, I need a camel.